So the first part of my oral hygiene is oil pulling and this is the method where you're going to use any edible oil and you're going to gently swish or place it around your mouth for a great 3 to 15 minutes or even more depending on what you prefer. So preferably I'm using coconut oil, you can also use olive oil or sesame oil and i'm using a teaspoon generally you can use a full tablespoon and i'm just gently swishing it around my mouth and this is a little bit disgusting but it's really not that bad especially when you're using coconut oil it's just quickly dissolve into the mouth and it's edible like you're not gonna have the feeling of having oil in your mouth so let's talk about the benefits of doing this so oil pulling is generally similar to a mouthwash and what it does is that it effectively removes microorganisms like bacteria which can result in bad breath so you can just imagine when you're sleeping and there's obviously a decreased saliva flow and production and bacteria is just building up around your mouth and that can result in bad breath so this method is just going to effectively remove that bacteria that was building up in your mouth the night before so after swishing for a few minutes i generally just spit out the oil and i rinse the inside of my mouth using lukewarm water So the second part of my oral hygiene is using a dental tape. You can also use a dental floss. The difference is that the dental floss is a bit thinner than this one and this one is thick. So I generally just move the string in between my teeth from below to gently remove plaque that is trapped inside which can result in discoloration. And the tape that I'm using consists of activated charcoal which has advanced whitening to prevent discoloration in between the teeth. I usually struggle with my hands when doing this and I'm not even sure if I'm doing it properly. So if anyone has some tips, please do not hesitate to share. And this is some of the plague that actually came out. I'm not even sure if you guys can see it, but yeah this one i'm pretty sure everyone knows that you need to change your toothbrush once every three months just because it's sitting there and it's collecting bacteria and germs every time you wash so you just need to change it okay so this one i honestly didn't think it was necessary before but i recently started using the toothbrush covers and i think it just helps with protecting the toothbrush from outside bacteria and germs and you honestly wouldn't want anything to go in there because obviously it goes into your mouth and when i'm done using my dental tape i just generally go in with my toothbrush and paste just to brush my teeth and remove extra gems and also to freshen up my mouth Now for my facial care, I generally use these facial razors to shave my face. This is not necessarily important but I do shave my face just to remove the dead skin cells and to also remove the hair because I do have some hair that is growing on my face. This overall helps with my skincare absorption. I find that after shaving my face, my skincare absorbs much better. And if you are a makeup girly, it will also help with achieving a smooth base for your makeup. So I also like to properly clean my facial razors after each use just to prevent any accumulation of bacteria which can irritate the skin. And to do that, I generally just go in with an antibacterial spray and just spray the razor part 
and then I wipe it using a paper towel. And I also do get rid of my facial razors once every other three months and I usually get them with a pack of four from Take A Lot and I'm only left with two now. The next tip is to use the multi-purpose Vaselin Blue Cell. I call it multi-purpose because I use it almost everywhere on my body and my lips and my face. And here I'm just using it under my eyes and the sides of my nose before I go in with a physical exfoliant. And by a physical exfoliant, I'm referring to a facial scrub. This is not necessarily a hygiene tip, but it just helps me to avoid pulling the skin under my eyes and on the sides of my nose because that skin is really thin and it's fragile. And roughly pulling the skin under our eyes and the side of our nose can result into the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. And we're obviously not trying to get older or age really quickly this side but generally I usually avoid the area around my eyes but the scrub can sometimes reach in there so if you can avoid that area please do. The next tip is to avoid using facial or face towels especially if you have sensitive and acne prone skin like mine. Face towels can accumulate a lot of germs and bacteria obviously because you wouldn't get rid of it after each and every use and you would just let it sit there to dry and it's just collecting all the bacteria which can irritate the skin. So I usually use my cotton pads after every wash to dry my face and you can also use your face paper towels or you can just let your face air dry. For my body hygiene, the one thing I like to do is to detox my armpits. And I use a lemon, I just cut it into half and then just rub it under my armpits. Lemon consists of citric acid and it is also known to have antibacterial properties. So this helps with killing the bacteria and microbes that can result into odor. And it also helps with the whitening of the underarms. So if you're suffering from dark underarms, you can use lemon and you can also use glycolic acid if you have one. The next tip that changed my life is using Vaseline again and this time I'm using it for fragrance. As a student, of course, I cannot afford expensive perfume or fragrance and I usually do buy body mists instead as an alternative and perfume or fragrance that usually last longer on the body usually has a very strong scent and i cannot tolerate that because i'm allergic to very strong fragrance and it can trigger my sinuses and what i usually do is to rub a generous layer of vaseline in parts of my body where i want the fragrance to be concentrated and then i just spray it there and rub it in and it will definitely last a little bit longer and the last and final tip is using an intimate wash. I know that there are a lot of arguments about this, that water alone is enough, which is true, it is enough. But for me, I usually get a lot of discharge and I do not like the smell of blood during my period. And now that it's getting even more warmer, it's worse because you are sweating and everything is just released down there and then it gets in contact with air just producing a really really bad smell 
I'm using this Betadine Intimate Foam Wash and I really like it. I think it's the best I've ever used. It is very gentle and it will never mess up with your pH. And obviously I do not use it every day. I only use it when necessary and in most days I'll just use water only. And we've actually reached the end of this video. If you've been watching this far, thank you so much. Do not forget to like and hit on that subscribe button for more. See you on the next video. Bye!